Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna be making this top for you, showing how to make how I made this top for you guys. It's a very very easy top to make. You just need a few notions of um, knitting and uh, just the finishing with crochet. And um, but I'm gonna show you all on this video, as well as how to remove the actual stitch straight to a needle. So I'm using the center machine, this machine beautiful here, 48 needles, okay, on the panel mode to make this, this top. And then I added some crochet on the bottom just because I like a little bit longer, but if you don't like any longer, if you just want the top, the rib top, you can, you know, just make all the way to here. And uh, you don't need to make the bottom part of it, even though I, I really liked it and it was so easy. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it was. It was really cool to make. So I'm using 12 ply, um, this kind of denim look, not the denim color, but the this color that I thought was really nice too. And I used 200 grams of this yarn, which is two rows to make this. And then what else did I use? I used these needles here, the circular needles, six millimeters. And I used a hook that can be the hook that came with the machine as well. So this is a five millimeters crochet hook. You can use the one that came with the machine, no problems. So before we go ahead make sure you like my video and leave me a comment if you have been making any of my patterns i always like to know okay this pattern i would make for sure because this top is really really cool like i got the yarn in promotion as well <laughs> so it was a bit cheaper and uh, like in in a few hours it took me three hours to make in a few hours you have a very very nice top so worth making for sure so let, let's get started To make this rib top, I used from the hook number 4 all the way to the number 46. That's the number of stitches that I used. This is the size of panel that I have. I'll leave the measurements of the panel down in the description below. Um, but now what I'm going to do in this tutorial and that's something that, I, that I'm trying for the first time is that I, I have my uh, uh, circular hooks here my circular needles, sorry, sorry for knitting uh, my knitting needles and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast the stitches off straight in this thing so I can make the ribbed uh, one by one I'm gonna use one knit, one purl for I'm thinking like this, this big, probably around what less than 10 rows I'm gonna do to the top and to the bottom as well. So I already made this first panel here and the way I cut the stitches off in this first panel is the same way I'm, gonna, I'm going to do on the second panel, okay? What we are going to do here, the same way I did on the first one, I'm gonna do both the same ways. So I didn't explain, I'm going to only explain the second one, okay? So I already have my knitted side facing this way and that's, that means I have to use the left needle to cast the stitches off on the second side that means they both gonna face the same way when I make the crochet okay I'm using six millimeters hook if you have bigger I think it's probably better if you have a number seven number eight it's all good too 
and then I'm going to start here in this first stitch don't worry about the yarn at this moment okay and I'm going to just remove them with this needle one by one So I removed the other yarn, making a knot on the beginning of this second panel. Now I'm going to make the rib stitch. It's gonna make I'm going to make the knit one pearl one. So I'm going to remove this first stitch. Make sure it's facing the right way. And may and knit this second one. Third one going to pearl knit pearl and I'm going to repeat that all around until I have um, a ribbon that uh, with the size that I like, like um, I'm thinking it's gonna be around 10 rows. So I made my last stitch on this side of the panel, which was pearl, and now I'm going to knit this next one. Okay, pull a few stitches, so grab the next panel, and then we are going to knit this next this very first one on the other side we're gonna knit and that way we're going to start joining them together and then pull the second one knit pull knit pull and then we are going to repeat the same thing once we get to the other side to join to just work in a circular way so we are never going to be working on the wrong side of this work, only on the right side. I made six rows. Uh, you can count either the V's or here, the little loops. One, two, four, six. And now I'm happy with this number of rows here and I'm going to cast it off. If you don't know how to cast it off, it's really easy. So to cast off the stitches, I'm going to make this first one. And then I'm going to make sure I'm going to cast them off very a bit loose as well. Okay, so I'm going to make them exactly like I was doing before. I'm going to knit this one. And then I'm going to put my needle through that second one and pull in front. And that way I'm going to finish this one first. Second one I'm going to knit again just because I made a mistake on the other side. So I have two knitted stitches here. So knit it, grab that second stitch and put on top of the first one. Now we're going to pull this one and Pull that second one on top there. I actually don't like this. I'm going to knit them all. So I'm going to remove from here, put it back here, and I'm going to knit them all because I just think it looks better. So I'm going to knit the next one, pull it through. Knit and grab. I hope you can see it well because it's, it's quite easy. And here that's how it looks like now. Make sure again it's not too tight and it's gonna fit you. Otherwise you'll have to redo it again. So leave the loops a little loose. We're going to repeat that all the way to the end and then 
cut this yarn off and repeat the same thing on the bottom of this top and then here you can see how this is looking like it's pretty good to me and actually you can make this stitch on the machine I saw, I saw people making it but I reckon it's uh, much faster with this um, with these needles, the circular needles as well, you already joined them both together. And as well, uh, if you saw my tutorials from before, I explained how to grab all the stitches with the hook. You can do, you can make this ribbing with uh, crochet as well, if you prefer. Okay, I just made knit at this time because I wanted to show you a new technique, a new option to finish to cast stitches off and work that um, that rib with um, knitting. Anyway, let's keep doing this until you finish and then you can make a knot at the end. So after we finished all the stitches and uh, we finished with these needles, we have we'll have one loop left. And uh, I'm gonna turn my work around and through these two loops here from the first stitch I'm going to pull this last loop in there and then I'm just going to yarn over and pull it through the loop. So first what you're gonna do, first thing we're going to do is try on on our body, see if, it, if this works. I'm gonna try on me, see if it fits, and then we can keep going with the rest of the stitching and the bottom part of it too. So with my tapestry needle I pull, put the yarn through, because I finished here with the tail and I put it through a few stitches and then underneath this first one here and then so what I'm going to do now I'm going to work in that last the very last row here and I'm going to grab this part here on one side and this part here on the other side very easy very easy so this part here right in between you can see the two V's here is the loop in between them on one side and the next one after because you can see here it was this one now the next one so because you should have the same number of rows you're gonna end up at the bottom with the same at the same place on both sides so we don't have to worry about that if you have the same number of rows i'm gonna show you right now so you pull it a bit oh my god so perfect this is the first time i make actually make these stitches and it's my god i can't believe i didn't do that before so this is how my stitching looks like. You can actually can't actually even see it. And this is the back of it. Okay, so what I did was I didn't finish this yet because I want to make uh, my last row with my last ribbing first. So I just cut a little longer and left this tail there. And so this tail I'll be removing from this last loop here because we will be removing this tail as well because we are going to put the needle through. So grab your needle, your circular needle again because we are going to make the ribbing on the bottom and the way we do that so pull it pull this this is a waist yarn here and you, you can see it runs through all the stitches 
we are going to be removing this later okay so don't worry about it all we have to do here is just put this on these stitches on the needle all around it and it's gonna be tied sometimes but that's okay I'm still gonna be able to put them all through make sure you always have the last loop and not the waste yarn here again to help me see the stitches here so after I put all the um, stitches through these needles it wasn't that easy but it was all right I guess um, so you have to be a little patient because these stitches they were really tied so I'm going to remove the waste yarn that's the running yarn that I have left from when I started and the way you do that is just pull it and it will come out because you're not going to use it. And then you can probably... This is the yarn that we use to... to stitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a knot here. So they are secure. And this is gonna be right underneath our arm so I'm going to start making my ribbing again okay so I'm making if and I think that would be good but even though we have the two tails here I'm gonna place a marker here so I know where I am as well and then I'm going to make six rows of ribbing one uh, one knit, one pearl, and then I'm going to cast it off like I did here, and then we are going to make the rest of it. So here we are. I finished this ribbing on the bottom, and I didn't make as big as the first one. That's because just because I'm gonna add some crochet on the bottom for me, because I, I don't like really like to show my belly much. But for you guys, I'm, I'm making the tutorial all the way to here. And then now we are going to add the, the ties on the top here. And they're gonna be, I'm gonna be making them with crochet. So I have my crochet hook. And so I tried it on and I placed the markers where I wanted them to be on the front and on the back, as you can see. And if you want to try after edging the markers, you can as well. So just to, you know, make sure they are on the right place. Making here my crochet knot. Twist in the front, yarn over, pull it through this loop here. And that's how we're going to start making this um, ties not gonna actually so you're gonna put through both loops here of your last stitch and you're gonna pull it through pull it through the second loop again so after making this what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the yarn over and just pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so you're gonna do this until you reach the desired size it has to go over your shoulder and all the way to the back and you have to make sure it's not too tight or too loose so you're gonna have to make a few I actually didn't count so it's good if you count each little V is a stitch so 2, 4, 6, 8 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. And then uh, what do you have to do? So I made 50 here. You have to join on the other side where your marker is and you have to try it on again and see if that's too long or not or is good enough. I'm thinking it's a bit too long so I'm just gonna join here the same way you did on the other side. So I'm gonna put through these two loops here on the other side where you had the marker. And then I'm going to 
pull it and pull it again and then make a few chains here so it doesn't open when you try and then try it on again now I'm thinking it's uh, probably too big but I'll, I'm gonna try on myself and then I'll come back with the right size 40 centimeters 16 inches long and this for me you have to try on yourself so now just turn your work around and then we are going to finish to put the hook through these two loops here where the marker is pull it through and then pull it through again and just make a few stitches so it doesn't come undone if you want to try it on again you can so now that I made the second one here I'm going to join but look, looking this way just because I want to finish with my uh, yarn on the other side so I can already start making the um, that that finish that finishing with crochet all around it so I have my loop here I'm gonna turn my work to start working this way because I want to work the crochet on the right side not on the wrong side of my top and then from here I can probably so I can put my hook through this next stitch and make a single crochet hope I'm not confusing you and then from here turn the work and start working on these loops here so you're gonna turn them so you're facing the V's here and you're gonna put the hook through that first one and make uh, two loops you're gonna have single crochet put through the second one yarn over single crochet and then repeat this all the way even here I think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna make another row here and then after finishing all of this I'm going to make another this same thing on the other side as well to the middle so because I want a, a little thicker here I don't want that thin and so I'll show you that soon how you work on the other side but finish this here and here you're gonna make one stitch to every every stitch you have here as well now while you're making this this uh, last uh, row of crochet just make sure your stitches are not too tight and they have the same size of these ones underneath it otherwise it's gonna be too tight to put your um, to wear your top and so the way you do this is just leave a little longer loop the first one has to be a little longer and now I'm going to work on the other side of this of this uh, this tie here and so I'm gonna put the hook through this last loop here pull it and make a single crochet and this next loop here is only one of them that's the back part of your chain so put the hook through pull put the hook through pull so I made crochet here and I have to make crochet on the other side as well to finish it off and that's how thick it, it's looking like now and as I said if you want to add an edging here I think it would look really nice as well but then you look for edges online I'm not gonna I'm just gonna leave it flat like that and then what I'm going to be doing after this if you want to keep watching this tutorial I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add the same size I have here 
down this way in crochet because I like my belly covered. But if you, if the tank tops are all you wanted, it's almost ready. So this is our tank top. Okay, you can finish this tutorial here. Let me show you where where is my oh, here. Just wanted to show you the final size of it because it's important. So this is 12 inches and it fits me I'm um let me see around my right on top of my breast I'm uh, 34 not on top of my breast but on top of it like on my uh, chest my chest is 34 so that fits perfectly on my chest and the height of it is 8 inches that was really good for me I reckon for a small you read in decrease one inch here in the middle so you make less rows here and the gauge of this is let me see it should be 10 inches gauge I'm gonna make one inch gauge and that's three stitches by one two three four five six six rows so three stitches by six rows is one inch if you want to compare with your gauge there and here this part here it is seven and a half inches long so this is it guys i'm gonna keep going and making the bottom part of it for me if you want to keep uh, watching it so after I uh, finished this part here, that's the last part we did, uh, what I did was I made a full row of single crochets here, exactly the same way that I did here, just to finish it off better, mainly on the corners here because the stitch was a bit loose, so I did that, so it's one stitch to every stitch you had before, very simple as you can see here and then I finished here with a single crochet at the end and now I'm going to make one two three three and four chains so chain four and then we're gonna skip this next stitch and make a single crochet here so put the hook through pull it yarn over pull again and one two three four four skip one here one two three four skip one stitch the next one single crochet repeat that all around it so your last stitch you're gonna finish with two chains here and one double crochet in that first stitch where you started double crochet and then we are going to make four chains to start the next row so chain four and then instead of a double crochet this time what we'll be doing is we're gonna make um, long double crochet and so to do that you're gonna just put it underneath here underneath these chains pull the yarn and then you're gonna go through two loops gonna go through one loop and then two loops again and then yarn over and repeat that into the next arch pull through two pull through one pull through two chain and repeat that same stitch again two one and two so you're gonna have a chain in between both double crochets long double crochets here but not in between here so I'm not making one now but I'll make in between them here so pull through one pull through two and another one I yarn over once and then 
you still make make it like a treble but with only one loop on the second part of it and that's why it saves a bit of yarn and it's a very long stitch as well saving a yarn that way too because so long this is almost this is almost two rows of just normal double crochet um, and as well you you know it goes really fast this way so finish it off there go all the way around repeating the same stitch and then we are going to do the next row so here I just started after this row here that because this yarn is so thick and I want to wear this top for summer I was gonna make a few more rows of just this stitch just because it's a bit more open so it won't be that hot so I'm just gonna make a repetition of what I did on this one so you just copy it so I made one more stitch in between these two double crochets and I'm going to start with a single crochet with a slip stitch inside the third chain so one two three third one I'm going to make a slip stitch and then one stitch underneath the next chain and then I'm going to chain four to start this row two three four and make a long crochet in this same stitch here to make it like just like this and one chain in between them this time so you're always gonna have a chain in between them and this next one I made on this next chain here so as you can see that's how it is so that's where I'm working always in between the stitches in between the chain on the chain in between the two long double crochets one chain between them as well and another double crochet underneath the chain the same chain so chain one in between them this time so what I'm doing here I'm going to repeat this a few times and then just before I get to the height that I want for this top which is just um, around my waist on it a little longer so I'm gonna keep working this and then the last two rows I'm gonna make an, a nice edge into it so at the end I made here I just want to show so you guys see so I made one um, crochet row since the beginning one two three four five six seven eight I have eight crochet rows and um, I'm gonna start making the edging now so to start making this edging we are going to close here like we did before and go and we don't we, don't, we probably don't need this so just uh, slip stitch in the third chain from the hook and then we are going to make yeah one single crochet here in the middle and then we are going to make one chain and the next double crochet is going to be here and we are going to make the long one as well so one and one chain another one another chain Um, I s I'll have a look here. Two, four, six. I have six there. I have four here. I'm going to make five. And then one chain. Always one chain in between each of your double crochets. 
and then single crochet on the next one and then one two three four chains and single crochet so skip this uh, chain here on the next chain single crochet and then again one chain in the long double crochet one chain another long double crochet chain and repeat until you have five of the long double crochets four five chain one single crochet skip this chain here single crochet in this very next chain between the double crochets and then one two three four chain again skip what we are we'll be working basically only on this uh, chains in between the two double crochets here and then repeat the same work all the way around and then we are going to make one more row to finish this top so at the end of this row I was one short to make this um, this part here so I'm just gonna finish it off here with a um, slip stitch and sh it should be fine and then the next one I'm going to start straight from here making one two it's two chains this time and then you gonna long double crochet right on top of that one that first double crochet here and then we are going to make a little picot with three um, chains so um, we're going to make one, two, three chains and then we are going to single crochet into the first chain to make the little picot and then we are going to long double crochet in that next double crochet and again one, two, three through the first stitch back single crochet and into the next one one two three and that's gonna look like this at the end and then one two at the end this time single crochet in the next arch chain two and then go to the next uh, the next shell and then we are going to just repeat that one two three single crochet through here and again another long double crochet one two three and this is gonna give a nice finish to this top and some weight as well This is how it's looking like, our stitch at the end. I think it's gonna look really nice. So I'm gonna finish here and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna wear it and then I'm gonna show you how it looks like. 